Hello everyone, I am Rashmi here. In this video, I am going to explain cell structure and functions. Cell. The basic structural units of an organization are cells. Robert Hooke in 1665 observed a thin slice of cork under a magnifying device. He observed partition compartments which are termed as cells. The cells are microscopic, microscopic but some cells like egg, of hen, duck, or ostrich are single cells and are big enough to be seen by naked eye. This is the example of ostrich egg. Cells are building blocks in living organisms, same as bricks are in buildings. Like building, we need bricks to form the building. In the same way, our body is made up of Numerous cells. Organisms show variety in cell number, shape and size. Unicellular. The number itself says single cell organisms. Example is amoeba and paramecium. Multicellular. Organisms made up of more than one cell are called multicellular. Pseudopodia, some unicellular organisms such as amoeba have cytoplasmic projections which help them in locomotion and feeding. These projections appear and disappear as amoeba moves or feeds. Like amoeba, white blood cells in our body are also unicellular and can change their shapes. The smallest cell is 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 mi micrometer in bacteria and the largest cell measuring 170 mm into 130 mm is the egg of an ostrich. How our body is organized? First is cell. This is the basic structure of our life. Then tissue. Tissue is a group of similar cells performing a specific function. Organ. An organ is a group of tissues which together perform a specialized function. Organ system. Uh, an organ system is a group of organs in which each group, each organ performs different functions. For example, digestion, assimilation and absorption in digestive system. Then body. Body is made up of different system. Prokaryotes, eukaryotes. The organism which contains cell, oblique cells having nuclear membrane are called as prokaryotes. Example, bacteria and green algae. This is the picture of prokaryote. Eukaryotes, the organism which have well organized nucleus with a nuclear membrane are eukaryotes example other than bacteria and green algae this is the picture of eukaryote pass of a cell a cell has cytoplasm it is a jelly like substance which is bound by a cell membrane cell membrane is a selective preamble that can allow certain substances but does not allow other substances to go out of the cell. Nucleus. It contains thread-like structures called chromosomes which carry genes and help in inheritance or transfer of characters from the parents to offspring. Control. Center of all activities of the cell. Cell wall. It is the outer thick layer in the cells present in plants and fungi protects the cell against environmental variations. Mitochondria. It performs the functions of respiration and provides the cell with energy. It is called powerhouse of a cell. Golgi bodies are synthesize, uh, store and secrete enzymes and proteins. Vacuole. Vacuoles are fluid-filled structures surrounded by a membrane. 
Under the microscope, there are blank looking structures in the cytoplasm. Large vacuoles are common in the plant cells. Vacuoles in animal cells, uh, in animal cells are much smaller. This is the picture of plant cell and this is the picture of animal cell. The differences between two are cell wall is present in plant cell. In animal cells, cell wall is not present. Chloroplast is present in plant cell. In animal cell, it is not present. Plant cell has no centrosome. Animal cell has centrosome. Vacuoles are larger in case of plant cell. In animal cell, vacuoles are much smaller as in the chick cells. If you have any doubts and clarifications, feel free to contact me via my email. Thank you everyone.